And we're back with another video. Kiromi wanted to say hello, everyone. Yeah, she wanted to be included. Uh, I'm gonna upload a video of where I got this from <laughs> on my uh, my other my personal YouTube channel, other than what the sensor. And look at my little pens I got. They're so cute. But anyway, she wouldn't be in cute clue in the video. I'm sitting there in the other chair. But what in the schnitzel is going on here? We're back with another video. And today it's like, am I the a-hole for telling my sister I was a golden child since she couldn't do anything right? Dang. <laughs> um, what happened? Ooh, this is... I really don't... Uh, I really can't say... Because, okay... I really can't say, but I have experiences with my paternal siblings um, of one kid being the golden child. And it's kind of like, I get it, but at the same time, I sympathize. So it, 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 it's something, it's something. Okay, let's go ahead and read. Am I the a-hole for telling my sister I was a golden, that I was a golden kid so she couldn't do anything right? My sister is a flaming hot mess. And this is in the writer is frequent underscore neat 2494. For anybody that wants to check it out and read it for themselves. The house was never peaceful. We are close in age. Hold on, hold on, wait a minute. She made my, okay, my sister's flaming hot mess. She made my life miserable growing up. She got in with the wrong crowd, ran away multiple times. The house was never peaceful. We are close in age. I was a pretty good kid. When I was allowed to hang out in the mall in eighth grade, my sister couldn't since my family, my parents didn't trust her. When she was in 17, they gave up on her and I don't blame them. She ruined my mom's wedding dress. At 18, she was gone. They didn't kick her out. She just, just disappeared. She's back now. She, she, she's back and is now 26. She got her life together and my parents put strict boundaries with her. I've been meeting up with her more often and she went on a huge rant about not, invite, not being invited to Thanksgiving since my parents said they aren't at the point to let her back in their home. After at least 10 minutes, she went on how I was a golden child and at the point I had enough. I told her I was a golden child so she couldn't do anything right and she's, a lucky, she's lucky anyone talks to her. She has never apologized and she left in tears. Her boyfriend called me pissed and think and think that I am an unfair a hole. It's not that much information that was provided, so I'm very conflicted. Hold on, let's look in the comments. Hopefully, she gives us some clarification. Okay, someone asked Dobby's Dobby's reward said info. Did your parents ever try to help your sister take you to therapy and a psychiatrist? Change what school she went to? Interfere with the thirteen year olds? interfere when their 13 year old was getting in with the wrong crowd if they gave up on her at 17 it sounds like they're itty parents especially since she's now in her mid-20s and they're holding her teenage behavior against her as a reason she couldn't come over for dinner okay let's see let's see let's see let's see frequent frequent the op that wrote this said um yes they tried we moved on to a new school to help her i'm still bitter i had i had to move and lose all my lost all my friends for her she was in detention for the first week of the new school she was awful therapy happened group therapy was a nightmare i don't blame my parents it was bad enough is that i don't want to have a kid since i worry they will be like her oh my lord have mercy and i was rewards responded not the a-hole then if your parents are just trying to attempt professional help then there's only so much they can do i i agree your parents may may be still a-holes depending on the full context it's straight to tell a child to, it's strange to tell your child that their behavior from 10 years ago when they were a child is why they can't come to Thanksgiving. And OP responded, because they don't trust her to not ruin their house. They don't trust her not to steal anything or destroy anything important if she gets mad. They don't trust her to start an argument. To start an argument, they don't trust her to not ruin a nice family event. Mmm. Mmm, this is some stuff. Oh, and also OP put down, I don't know about the therapist got to, I mean, don't know about the therapist got, I don't know about the therapist got to the source. It was discussed with me. She was always said she hated our parents, but never gave a reason. I do not know she was giving a diagnosis or so no, not a mental illness. 
She has never mentioned any trauma to me, and my parents seem confused on that too. To be honest, she was a runaway 16 to 18, and I have no idea what happened to her when she did that. She started this at 14, and she did fall into a wrong crowd, and we moved away before she joined the gang. That didn't stop it, though. Yo, sister is a hot mess. I'm sorry. This is ridiculous. And uh, wannabe Wally said, not the a-hole people do change, but you also have the right to disbelieve it. The, mark the remark was harsh, but she also... But she was also the first to start taking her anger out on you. If you're willing, perhaps group therapy. Oh, P said, oh, F, no. <laughs> we tried that when she was 16. My God, never again. I never wanted to walk into a therapy session with her again. Okay. Oh, these, uh, um, oh, this is, this is, this is, this is, this is, this is much. And also, OP said, we are two years apart. My parents trusted me trusted me i was the golden child i could go out by myself and they didn't have to worry she could not usually ended up with my parents getting a call or she ends up on the other side of town when she was supposed to be at the mall or something my lord this is this is much this is much and someone tried to like say uh mr cat Mystica 44 says, sometimes kids act out to get attention because negative attention is better than no attention. Or if something happened that caused trauma. If you're younger, she could have felt you got all the attention. Or maybe you did better in school or got all the praise. And, and for your parents to give up on her, it had to stink. Not saying she did nothing wrong, but I think there is more to it that you might realize. Okay, okay, I like that uh, viewpoint on it. I really can't really give an opinion on this because this is like, uh -huh. Free and OP said, to be honest, I don't give an ish what her reason was. She made our life miserable and she can't say sorry. She was given help and she threw it back in everyone's face. We all lost so much because of her. Okay, someone uh, said, okay, now nah, this this is the first time I've ever seen like the, the whole place is 50-50. Um, a lot of people are saying no, you're not the a-hole, but other people are saying you're the a-hole. This is a long one, so prepare yourself. Administrative Wish 42 said, oh, hmm, I don't know all the dynamics that are involved with the family, but possibly you're the a-hole. Are you familiar with what she's referring to when she uses the terminology golden child? It's referring to a certain term coined by, about a common family dynamic that occurs when there is a narcissistic personality traits disorder in the parents. In these type of situations, parents tend to actively create a golden child, bad child dynamic. They create double standards and typically don't take any sorts of accountability for their parenting and how they are created certain dynamics. There is a, the golden child and then the scapegoat. Often the scapegoat seeks emotional support elsewhere because this dynamic is unhealthy for them. Sometimes the behavior issues with scapegoats are a response to a covert toxicity in their home life. First of all, all is this she's a flaming hot mess or did she get her life or or did she get her life together? Which one is it? Because you are saying both. Listen, I'm reading in between the lines that despite your sister's past behavior, your behavior just reads as empathetic as empathetic and cruel. Okay, okay. You may be justified in your feelings of resentment, but your your response to them is a reflection of yourself. Your behavior suggests you were taught to have no regard for your sister's feelings or accountability and how you pers how your personal response affects the current situation. All right. Your attitude is very dismissive and peppered with justification for being so. Being banned from Thanksgiving is an extremely painful experience for anyone. And if the family values and intention to heal and connect and be there for someone who got their life together, you all would care for her feelings on the matter and find a way to make the effort to connect in a way and still have values that are needed or at the very least acknowledge her pain and encourage patience with the time it takes to rebuild trust instead of just framing her as ranting oh okay i love this i love this i love i love how it offers a different perspective but a lot of people okay it's a good it's half because a lot of there's like a lot of people saying you're the a-hole. Okay. And Skyrim fact checker also agreed. He's like, you're the a-hole. What? 
what you are specifically asking judgment on is your comment to her, not on your overall history together. And yes, it's absolutely itty to, thing to do when you tell someone that they can't do anything right and they look, they're lucky anyone will even talk to them. The good place says it best. People improve what improve when they get external love support. How can we hold that against them when they don't? Okay, I love this. I love this conversation. Your sister sounds like she didn't get support or at least not the support that she actually needed when she was growing up. I don't know your parents or her situation, but clearly something was going on that was overlooked. Now that she's older, you mentioned that she seems to be in a better place. I wouldn't be surprised if she's currently looking for the family and love support that she feels she didn't get as a child. And from her her perspective, she is still being denied by your parents. The situation with your parents is a whole other story that I'm not getting into. Your situation is not... Your situation is not any better. It does suck that you went through all that growing up and that your feelings about it now are absolutely valid, but that does not give you free reign to strike back. In the same way that her past does not excuse her present actions, neither too does yours. I am really and truly believe that you personally need to go to therapy. It is clear that you, it is clear in how you spoke about your sister and post that it's causing you pain for her. It's cause it's causing you pain for her to be back in your life. There is a lot of unprocessed anger, resentment towards her, and unprocessed grief in what you lost and what you didn't get get to have as a child due to your experiences with your sister. You need space to talk to someone about those experiences to find healing, not for her benefit, but for your own. Oh, I love this. I love this, Skyrim. I love this. I love this. I love this so much because I'm still 50-50. Like, I understand how you feel of having to deal with someone that pulled a fast one on you and, like, you always felt like you had to compromise. But you say you're two years older. You're two years uh, younger than her. That's letting me know that by the time, say, you, she was four, you was two. So something had to happen during that time place before you actually had a conscience of, like, yourself. So I would say between the ages of zero and two for you, something must have happened for her to act this way. Like, y'all developing, growing up, you say you remember moving, this is that the third. It can't be just you moving and just her not hating her parents so much. Because that doesn't just come out the blue. Now, now I'll take that back. In some rare cases, it happens. But for her to hold this much anger and for her to be like that and explosive, as y'all say, something must have happened that your parents are not telling you that they're guilty about. But they want you to be on their side. So they're not going to open it up to you. And the sister doesn't want to ruin your perception on the family so she doesn't tell you. So I feel like it must be something else more. Now you're dead wrong for saying that. You're lucky anyone else talking to you. Because a lot of times some kids just are hard knocks. It's legit what it is. But for you to just downright continue to constantly berate her is not right. If she's got her life back on the right and narrow, shouldn't she also be given the grace and the time period to actually say how she feels and actually tell you from her perspective because i wouldn't want to talk to anyone either if from her, from their perspective i'm already getting getting legit beat down on by my family and i'm rejected to go thanksgiving for something that i did as a child because you said she left when she was 18. She's now 26. Let's go. 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26. Nine years she was gone for y'all life and now she's gotten herself together and now y'all still rejected her for nine years. Y'all didn't go to therapy for nine years. Now I'm saying, I'm not saying that you have to ex ex forgive people and accept them. But my thing is Thanksgiving, everyone goes to Thanksgiving to, com to bring, come together, have family, whatnot. If I'm going to Thanksgiving and I'm over here or I want to go to Thanksgiving with my family, show them that I changed. How can I show you that I changed if you're still telling me I'm the same person when I was a kid? That makes no sense. It's nine years past. I've grown since then. And you still are telling me that I'm the same person that I was a kid. First of all, my, front, my frontal lobe is fully developed at 26. And I, yeah, I'm still at fault. That's ridiculous. I understand that, yes, she has to apologize, whatever. Woo, 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 woo. But you have to at least hear her side of it instead of just saying, oh, yeah, it's your, all of this is your fault. Because for a child to just flip like that, 
something something happened something happened something happened and they're not no one's saying anything and i feel like there's more to the story but they just not letting you say they're not telling you anything but um comment down how y'all feel about this like comment subscribe turn on the post notifications on so you know whenever we post um because what in the snitzel is going on here this is ridiculous Ta